Good afternoon, everyone. We are now live in Mekani Web uh, Facebook page and YouTube channel and also in the ASUS for Business. Okay, so quick start to After Effects. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakapag-register, please do register. Iyan po ang ating uh, registration form. Okay, and then inviting you then to like and uh, share our live stream using the hashtags AsusX MechaniWeb 2020, hashtag Asus Create Anytime Anywhere, and hashtag Asus Pro Art Studio Book for a chance to win a 30th Asus Bagpack. Okay, and uh, inviting you then to join our group. Uh, if you're an educator, no, Adobe Educators Philippines. And then we also have Adobe After Effects User Group Philippines in Facebook and LinkedIn. Okay, and um, if you have questions um, along the way, uh, feel free lang no, to drop it in our comment section. Sang awit ng Pilipinas. in the holy presence of the God. Dear God, thank you for allowing us to emit today and share our knowledge and time with one another in this webinar. May you extend your divine wisdom to our speaker so that he would be able to impart effectively his God-given knowledge to all of us. May he be blessed as he continues to bring his expertise to people who need them. In Jesus' name, Amen. Yeah. 
And good afternoon once more eh, to give us his opening remarks. Kasama natin ang ating ITO head, Mr. Jason Fabella. Uh, hello po, good afternoon. Uh, isang maganda at pinagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat. Lalong-lalo na po sa mga teachers and ang teaching personnel ng DepEd Santa Rosa City. So before I give my opening remarks, uh, uh, maraming salamat po ulit sa MecaniWeb at saka sa ASUS Philippines para po sa pag-sponsor at pag-conduct po nitong webinar series natin. So itong event po natin today is part pa rin po ng ating Division ICT Literacy webinar series uh, na aim na which aim to equip our teachers and participants on different educational technology tools to be used in the classroom and of course to increase the ICT literacy of personal in the division. So I hope na lahat na matututunan natin dito sa ating webinar series napaka interesting ng topic natin after effects. So before kasi uh, nag Nag-conduct na tayo ng different seminars regarding video editing. So siguro ito yung sumunod na level up naman kasi ito naman motion graphics and mga effects naman yung pag-aaralan natin today. So I hope na even Saturday, uh, invite po natin yung mga other teachers natin to attend this webinar dahil alam ko naman po na marami tayong matutunan and I hope na madami pa po mag-join sa atin later. And sana po lahat ng matutunan natin for this uh, in this webinar ay ma-apply natin sa ating pagtuturo sa ating klase. Yan lang Miss Nelcy. Thank you Sir Jason. Okay, uh, pakilala na natin ang ating instructor for uh, today, no? He is an Adobe Education Leader and Adobe Creative Educator. Ayan. Uh, Mr. Joe Mark Bakiran. Ang ating instructor. Okay, let's uh, give the floor na, no? To Sir Joe Mark. And the once more inviting you to like and share our live stream using the hashtags na nakikita nyo sa inyong um, screen. Okay, for a chance to win um, ASUS 30th Bagpack. Hello, hello. Okay, good afternoon once more. And uh, thank you po sa lahat na uh, nag-join. Let me share my screen. Okay. So it's uh, Adobe Creative Cloud. And uh, today we are going to learn after effects so ang after effects po is one of the industry standard in creating motion uh, graphics okay and napakadami pong uh, magagawa natin using after effects and because i mentioned creative cloud which means there are a lot of softwares uh, you can bring in and animate your uh, files coming from Photoshop, Illustrator, into After Effects. Okay? So this is a uh, project-based learning. Uh, highly encouraging everyone to follow along. Okay? Ayan. Let me uh, set up. Ayan. Today I am using ProArt. 
Studio Book Pro. I hope you're seeing it at the screen below. Ayan. Sharing to you how uh, intensive uh, the applications I am running right now. So notice on my uh, screen under Task Manager. Ayan. I am currently consuming 12 gigs of uh, RAM. So same with uh, my GPU. So uh, this Pro Art Studio Book uh, Pro X is uh, running on NVIDIA Quadro RTX. Okay. Let me remove this. So this is a quick uh, sample of what we will be uh, creating this afternoon. Okay. And uh, just to add, hindi po uh, natin mamamaster ng ganong kabilis ang uh, After Effects. Uh, but don't worry, we will be doing a uh, series of more uh, courses for After Effects. So consider this as uh, the first chapter of uh, the things to come with uh, After Effects. Okay, so let me share my screen once more. Okay, once more, welcome to Quick Start to After Effects. And our first agenda for today's session is to get ourselves familiarized with the user interface of After Effects. We are highly encouraging everyone to follow along. And today I am using the latest version of Adobe After Effects which is 2020 version. To absolute beginners, yes po, tama po kayo. At first, when you launch and look at After Effects, it looks very daunting. So notice we have a lot of windows and panels here. What you are currently seeing right now is I have a blank project as of this moment. Later, we will be importing assets into this uh, project. 
And because I am already here, let us first discover what project uh, panel is. So basically, our project panel is the sort of the brain of our project. This panel serves as the placeholder of all of the assets that we will be importing and uh, using throughout our composition. In After Effects, we can import Adobe Photoshop files, Adobe Illustrator files, audio files, graphic files, and all of those files can be seen here in our project panel. Okay, so moving forward, next panel at the right is our composition panel. A composition is the framework for a movie. This also serves as our preview window of whatever it is that we are currently doing in After Effects. This is also the reason why the composition panel is the largest uh, panel in After Effects. As we progress into this live stream training to create a final output movie what we will be doing is rendering our composition in addition in some places in the after effects user interface composition is abbreviated as comp okay the second most used panel in after effects is the timeline. Okay, so mga 80% ng ating mga ginagawa sa After Effects ay nangyayari or happening in our timeline and our composition window. So heading back to our timeline, to those who are familiar with uh, Photoshop, so think of this as the timeline is where your layers are uh, visible. And the composition uh, window is where we can see what we are uh, doing. So once more, in the timeline, this is where we manipulate our layers, add keyframes, tweak the animation, the length of your uh, video or composition. Once more, this is where we manipulate the layers. Okay? In addition, very important po, no? So notice there's a uh, blue outline on my timeline panel. So that means this panel is uh, currently active. Starting now, I would like you to be aware what uh, panel is currently selected so for example i am going to import assets into after effects so that means i have to activate this panel so left click here notice the blue outline i'm going to head over to our composition panel left click here so this is now our active uh, panel Moving forward, punta naman tayo dito sa kanan. So here we have a series of a menu, stack menus. So here we are seeing info. So info uh, gives a, a numeric readout of the color value underneath the cursor. So later we will be discovering more about info and uh, mostly this is used for color grading. Okay? So in After Effects, we can also work with audio. So here we have a level audio, level meter for audio. We have a preview. So later, in order for us to play our composition, this is where we can play, stop, move to the last frame, and uh, one of the important menus here in After Effects is the effects and the uh, presets. 
So dito sa After Effects, uh, napakadaming uh, effects niya and the uh, presets. So here is where we will be selecting our preferred effect and add that effect into our layer over here. So as we progress, we will be adding effects to our layer. And uh, one of the default menus here is we can align layers. If you're familiar with Illustrator, these are all similar. So we have uh, libraries here, uh, same with the character in uh, Photoshop or Illustrator, paragraph, tracker, content aware uh, fill. So itong tracker, we will be discovering this more when we're into uh, advanced lessons of After Effects. Same with the content aware uh, field. And uh, yes, we can rearrange uh, panels. Uh, so maybe some of you have rearranged the user interface. For example, I can tear this out and uh, place this here. Ayan, or I can tear project panel and uh, place this here. Okay, so if ever you would like to go back to the default user interface uh, settings, simply head up here to default. I can double left click and uh, simply select yes. So now we are in the default state of After Effects uh, user interface. Moving forward, there are specific workspaces that can be toggled in After Effects. For example, you're going to be working with the essential graphics. So here's the layout or a workspace for that one. Let's say you're going to be working with motion tracking. So here's the default layout for this one, okay? So let's head once more to default, double left click this one, and select yes. And uh, finally, at the top, this is what we call tools uh, panel. Okay, so as we progress, we will be discovering most of the essential tools here. Moving forward, let's switch gears and start to get the hang of it. Let's create our new composition. There are ways to create a new composition. One is noticeably here in the composition panel, which is new composition. In addition, we can create a new composition from a footage. Basically, ang new composition from footage ay ang composition natin ay my asset na agad. So, because this is a uh, beginner course in After Effects, we will be creating a uh, project from the scratch. So, another method of creating a new composition is heading up, going to composition, and uh, selecting new composition, which has also a keyboard shortcut of control N. Selecting this. Okay, so next question is, what should be the size of my composition? Well, it depends po, no? depending if you have a client, probably they will define the size of your composition, same with its uh, frame rate and uh, duration. Okay, so After Effects offers a lot of uh, presets here. Notice we have a 4K and 8K presets here. So at the default, notice here HDTV 72029.97. This is the frames uh, per second 
of this uh, preset. So let's select this one for demonstration purposes. And ang 720, its size is 1280 by 720 pixels. Again, you may opt to select if you're looking for 1920 by 1080. Once more, let's select the HDTV 1080. So, ito siya, 1920 by uh, 1080. For me, as a uh, personal uh, preference and ang um, kapupuntahan ng aking uh, project ay YouTube, I usually opt to go to 720. Uh, mas maliit siya kaysa 1920. In addition, alam naman natin sa Philippines has a uh, difficulty in internet bandwidth. So mostly I uh, typically use 1280 by 720. Now for the pixel aspect ratio, it is dependent on what preset you have selected. Let's say uh, PAL. So, iba siya, no? Notice, this pixel aspect ratio is uh, different now. So, let's head back to HDTV 720 29.97. So, again, this is the frame rate. Ito po siya. Frames per second. We have the option to change this. So basically, the start time code, pag gawa natin ng composition, uh, nakastart na siya sa 2 seconds. So okay lang na 0 yan. And uh, for the duration, because our training is project-based uh, learning, Ang final output natin ay actually hindi siya magi exceed ng uh, 30 seconds. So again, for the duration, I'm going to type in 3, 0, 0, 0. Meaning yung 30 po, first two digits here corresponds to seconds and uh, this 2 is the frames okay for the background color let's settle for uh, black for now selecting okay okay so these are the essential settings hindi na muna natin in the dive in i will not confuse you with advance and a 3d renderer for now and to add, we can nest uh, compositions, meaning yung composition, may laman na composition, may laman na composition, and so on and uh, so forth. So a good uh, practice is to name your uh, main composition. So ako, I usually type in main as an identifier that this is our uh, main composition. So, naming this to main shoe composition. And because uh, we declared a uh, black background color, notice as I hit OK, I'm adding background I black. Again, this is just a, a visual representation. And in reality, this is actually blank. Same with Photoshop. This is one of the difference between After Effects and a Photoshop. Again, this is black po, no? Kaya, notice a while ago, I mentioned the uh, background color is not uh, very important uh, for now, okay? Let's bring that background color once again by toggling transparency grid. Notice on our project panel, we now have our first composition named as main shoe composition. And it is also visible in our uh, timeline. And as we progress, we will be adding layers here. 
And uh, lastly, recall that we defined the duration of our composition to be 30 seconds. So notice here, we are seeing 30s, meaning 30 seconds. If you have uh, registered for this uh, live streamed uh, training, you have access to our exercise files. Let's move forward to our next chapter, which we are going to import assets into After Effects. I'm going to bring over my Windows Explorer. And inside this folder, I have extracted the exercise files. Notice here we have an MP4, an Adobe Illustrator file, an AVI with transparency, and the two folders here. One of the ways in bringing in assets into After Effects with this folder visible, I can select this video, hold shift, and uh, selecting women pulling with this file selected, I can left click and hold and drag and drop over here. Another method on this blank area, I can right click, head to import and select file, which also has a shortcut key of control I. Selecting this, I'm going to paste the location of where our exercise files were extracted. Let me head over to this folder named as shoe reveal, double left click to enter this folder. So notice here, I have sequences. Recall po, no, yung videos are defined as well in frames per second. So ito po yun, no, sequence, these are frames. And some of the softwares that exports uh, frames are uh, Autodesk 3ds Max and uh, Maya. I'm showing this to you if ever you have a uh, client that forwarded a uh, sequence asset, you already know what to do with these files. So just one, I can select any of this and automatically After Effects will detect that this is a sequence. So notice here, PNG sequence. Let's import this as a uh, footage and select import. Okay, so notice the icon of a sequence. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to delete this illustrator file and show you another method of importing assets into After Effects. This time, in this uh, blank area, I'm going to double left click. And it automatically open up import file options. So reselecting runner AI. And because this is an illustrator file, notice the connection between these two Adobe softwares. We have the option to import this as a footage individually as layer sizes. So same here also with the Photoshop, if ever we are going to import a Photoshop document with the layers. Another is a composition. For now, in this tutorial, we're going to use this as a footage. So selecting import, import kind of footage. Let's have this as merged layers, selecting OK. Lastly, recall that we imported the shoe reveal via right clicking and a selecting import. So I'm going to bring back my folder and show you another method of importing a, a sequence. This time, inside the flow wide, this is also a sequence. 
what I'm going to do is select this folder and uh, drag and drop into our project panel. Okay, so once more, it detected that files as a sequence. Moving forward, I want you also to be in the habit of uh, getting organized. So on this uh, blank area over here, I'm going to right click, create a new folder. Another method is going here at the bottom, selecting create new folder. Okay, right click, creating a new folder. Let's rename this uh, first folder as, I'm going to hit enter once more. Selecting this, hitting enter to rename this. Let's type in composition, selecting untitled 2, selecting enter, renaming this to footage. For a title 3, selecting enter on my keyboard and uh, let's type in graphics. Okay. So main shoe composition is a composition. Left click and hold. Let's drop this inside this folder. Twirling this up. Next. These are all footages okay so I'm going to select them all left click and hold and drop this to our footage folder and finally this illustrator file is a uh, graphics so dropping this to graphics folder and while we are still in the early stages of this project make it a habit as well to save so hitting Control S, I'm going to head over to where I have uh, previously extracted the exercise files. So feel free to name yours. For me, let me name this for now as 01. Selecting Save. Okay, let's now bring over assets into our timeline i'm going to head over to footage left click here to cycle and have a uh, preview here of each of these videos let's start here by selecting woman weights selecting this left click and hold and uh, drag and drop it here on this area in addition, let's have the composition fit into our window. So I'm going to head over this drop down and select fit up to 100%. From here, it looks like our imported video is bigger than our composition. So I'm going to scroll my mouse. So obviously po, ganito siya kalaki. So what we can do to fit this into our composition with this selected, I can uh, right click, head to transform, and uh, let's select fit to comp height. Okay, let me zoom in by selecting our scroll wheel. Another way to zoom to fit to our window is hitting shift and the forward slash on our keyboard so that forward slash is beside the right shift button of our keyboard so shift forward slash so it is now fitted into our composition panel another habit that i want you to develop is to always be aware what layer is currently selected so notice here Woman is currently selected, and if we would like to deselect this, simply left click anywhere on the blank space. May it be here or here. Okay. Next, I'd like to introduce our current time indicator. So, notice I am going to left click and hold to scrub through. So, now we are seeing 
the content of this video. Another way is to head up to the right on this panel and select this uh, preview menu. And from here, I can select this play or stop button. So notice the green. So yan po ay, uh, it, it notes that it is currently rendering. Okay, so when it's green, we are playing uh, the video in real time. Okay, so notice po, nagbabuffer siya ngayon. Okay, so it's not yet in real time. So once it hits green, we are playing the true speed of uh, the video. Okay, in addition, let me grab our current time indicator. Another method of uh, playing our uh, video is simply hitting the space bar. So I'm going to hit space bar. Hit space bar once more to stop. Let's check the duration of this video in layer one. With this selected, I'm going to head to the upper right under info. Let's move this down. So its duration to be exact is 15 seconds and 8 frames. Moving forward, so this video is too long and we need only a portion of this into our whole composition. I prefer using only uh, 3 seconds of this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to our time code. So notice our current time indicator is currently parked at 4 seconds and 27 frames. So I prefer a 3 second footage or clip of this video. So let's bring our current time indicator to 3 seconds. And I can do that by selecting our time code. So once more, 27 denotes to frames, 4 to seconds. I want this to be at 3, so I'm going to type in 0, 3, 4 seconds, and 0, 0, 4 frames. Hitting Enter. And let's head over to our layer and trim this down. I'm going to hover my cursor over here, so notice the icon of two arrows left click and hold and let's move this to our current time indicator and uh, to be exact i want you to hold shift while moving our cursor so holding shift it will snap so notice it has a, a magnet effect it snaps to where our current time indicator is currently parked at okay so let's bring another footage into our composition let's bring in this man boxing left click and hold drag and drop so notice i can place heat here below woman or at the top of the first layer. Let's bring it under our first layer. So notice the blue line. I'm going to release and uh, move our current time indicator to see layer 2. Again, hindi po natin makikita, of course, yung portion ng layer 2 kasi layer one is currently on top of it so what we can do is we can solo this layer so to solo that i'm going to select or enable solo so it's here on this check box in addition this video is larger than our composition so i'm going to select layer 2 right click head to transform and uh, let's select fit to comp height control alt shift g 
And again, we prefer this video to be at three seconds. So I'm going to move my current time indicator, hold shift to snap to the end of uh, layer one. Again, reselecting layer two, move to the end of this layer, left click and hold, holding shift to snap at our current time indicator. So from here, we can move this layer to the right. I can also hold shift to have this juxtaposed or katabi niya exactly itong layer 1. Okay, let's bring another footage into our composition. Let's head to our project panel. Let's select woman pulling. Left click and hold. Let's place this below layer 2. Release. Let's check if this is also bigger than our composition. So it is. Heading to layer 3 with this selected, right click, selecting transform and fit to comp height or fit to comp width. So pareho siya ng aspect ratio ng ating composition. Okay, so this will be 3 seconds as well. Let me show you another method of trimming layers. So... Last time, we hovered over its end and uh, moved our cursor. This time, with uh, layer 3 selected, I'm going to hit Alt and the left bracket simultaneously. Again, left bracket is beside letter P on our keyboard. Okay, Alt, left bracket. Let's move our current time indicator to the end of layer 2. Two, holding shift to snap with a layer 3 selected alt right bracket naman okay so let's move a layer 3 dito sa kanan in addition you are seeing a, a silhouette here so notice for layer 3 because we trimmed this down Ang talagang duration niya ay mula dito hanggang dito. So if ever na may specific begin and end or in and out of uh, this clip, we can move to the left or to the right. So notice the change of the cursor's appearance. Okay, so let's head over holding shift. I move natin yung or slide slip and slide our video so with this icon i'm going to scrub our footage so we're looking for a uh, an angle here or point in time na akma sa ating uh, panlasa or preference so i'm okay with this one let's check Hitting space bar and let's zoom in once more. Let's uh, have this fit to our window holding shift and the forward slash button. Let me scrub this so this looks nice. Same uh, with our layer one. So let's turn off the solos. Let's scrub over here. Let me zoom out. Okay, so sa simula, I prefer na at the start, halos nasa gitna na si woman. So I'm going to move my playhead or current time indicator here. Let's uh, slip and slide this uh, video to the left. Okay, so parang gusto ko tong ending na to. Okay, let's check. Moving our CTI at zero. Pressing space bar. 
Okay, looks nice. And stop. Let's bring another asset. So I'm going to head to our project panel, selecting shoe reveal. Let's uh, place this at the bottom to be the fourth layer. Moving this over here. And I would like to bring in again, woman weights. And instead of a drag and drop, I can select layer one because they are both the same. I can hit control D to duplicate this. In addition, we can rearrange the layers. Let me bring layer 4 or woman weights up to be layer 1. And for the man boxing, let's have this at layer 2. And rearrange our layers. Moving this, holding shift. And the same with the layer 3, moving this to the right, this as well, this as well. So I prefer leaving uh, gaps because we will introduce a uh, text in between these layers. I can also select multiple layers and uh, move them. Okay. And lastly, another method of deselecting a, uh, a layer is holding Control Shift and A. Okay, Control Shift, Control Shift A. Moving forward, let's bring in some text. So I'm going to head up our toolbar and uh, selecting this letter T for text. Selecting this, let me place or hover my cursor over our composition window. Okay, left click here. I'm going to type in ang pagsuko ay enter Hindi sagot. And notice at the right, our character panel showed up. So notice, very much similar to Photoshop, wherein we can change the font. So here, I prefer it to be Arial. We can change its color, have this to be italic or all caps. So for this uh, project, I prefer this to be bold, italic, and all caps. And because this is a uh, video, we have the option to turn on title action safe. Okay. So notice I am still at the text command. Make it a habit to always revert back to selection tool. Pagtapos na kayo. So I can move this and eyeball this or guesstimate its uh, position. In addition, I can uh, grab my arrow keys to nudge this. So if I hold shift, Mas malaki yung movement niya or increment. Okay? I prefer the duration of this text to be 3 seconds as well. So let's, uh, on the time code, let's key in 0300 to be the current time indicator at 3 seconds. And with layer 1 or the text layer selected, I'm going to hit Alt and a right bracket to trim this okay let me move this here and let's create uh, two duplicates so with this selected hitting control d and control d once more now for the first layer let's have this above layer six 
moving this same uh, with layer one once more let's have this above layer seven let's move this to the right let's arrange our layers moving my current time indicator to the end holding shift of layer one moving layer three holding shift Moving my current time indicator to the end of layer 3, selecting layer 4, holding shift. So repeating the procedure, holding shift lang. Layer 6, moving this to the right. Same with layer 7 and the layer 8. Okay? I'm going to hit home for my current time indicator to be at 0 and... Let's have a preview of our composition. Okay. And hit spacebar to stop. Okay, and before we change the text, let me move layer 1 under layer 2. Okay, selecting layer 4, let's uh, change the text. So to change, simply double left click the text layer. Lagay natin ang iyong Abilidad. Enter. So I am I hit the enter at the middle of the keyboard, huh? Okay. I su see. And hitting enter, which is beside my mouse. So again, the enter key at the numeric keypad is different to the enter key below the backspace so take note of that moving forward let's head to our third text double left click our layer here or here let's type in bumangon mula sa pagsubok Okay, and uh, selecting our selection tool. Also, if you are in our Facebook group, which is Adobe After Effects User Group Philippines and Adobe Premiere Pro User Group Philippines, you may have uh, seen some members there selling templates. Okay, and those templates are uh, made in After Effects. I have a uh, template here. Let's grab a transition. So this one has a transparency. So like uh, PNG po. Yeah. Okay, so treat this uh, for now as a sort of uh, animated PNG. And uh, like this, uh, MP4 is a JPEG in the world of a video. So I'm going to grab transition. And uh, I'm going to place this above layer 2, okay? Let's uh, move this footage in between layer 3 and the 4. So let's scrub our CTI or current time indicator. So that's a uh, nice transition. And uh, stay tuned to our pages. We will be having another round of After Effects uh, training focusing on transitions. Kung nagustuhan niyo po yung After Effects, uh, we hope to see you on our next live stream the training with uh, Asus. Okay, let's spice things up. Recall in Photoshop, we have uh, shape layers. In After Effects, we also have that as solids let's create a new solid i'm going to head up to layer 
under New, selecting Solid, which has a keyboard shortcut of Control Y. And let's make this, make comp size, and select OK. Let me move my uh, current time indicator to our layer 2, which is woman pulling. My intent here is to create a short glitch effect. Let's select layer 1 and uh, move this to the left. In addition, we can edit the color of the solid by heading up to layer and uh, selecting solid settings. So here we can change this uh, color to anything that we'd like or we can sample colors. Okay, I'm going to hit escape and uh, retain this orange color. Selecting OK and OK. I would like this solid to be in a short duration of uh, frames. To move a, a frame in After Effects, it's simply selecting page up to move backward or page down to move forward per frame. Let's bring our current time indicator to zero. And if I hold shift, notice shift and the page down, I have moved incrementally by 10 frames. With that in mind, let me move our current time indicator at the end of layer two Holding shift to snap, let's trim layer 1, alt right bracket, hold shift and the page up to move 10 frames, and trim this by hitting alt left bracket. Let's check, hitting space bar, looks nice. Next, let's create a rectangular shape layer. And a word of caution, whenever we select items in this shape layer options, make sure that no layer is currently selected. If we have selected something and we selected shape layer, we will be creating a mask. So our intent here is to create a rectangular shape. So I'm going to deselect layer 1. Another method is pressing F2. Okay, so once more, heading up, selecting rectangle tool. Let me create a uh, rectangle from here going here. And as a habit, I want you to always revert back to the selection tool, hitting V. Next, let's move our current time indicator to man boxing. And with the shape layer selected, let's change this color by heading up to fill. Let's move this slider up and I'm opting for a purplish color. Selecting OK. Let's rotate this uh, shape as well. And to do that, I'm going to head up and uh, select Rotation Tool. Rotating this. Also, I can hold the Shift to snap at a 45 degree increments. Hitting V for Selection Tool. Let's move this here. Next, let's move our current time indicator to the end of a man boxing, which is layer 6, holding shift. I'm going to trim this shape layer, alt right bracket, holding shift and a page up to move 10 frames backward, and alt left bracket. Let me move our shape layer on top of layer 6. Twirling this up. And uh, let's check. 
moving my CTI here, holding space bar, and notice the glitch effect. Space bar wants more to stop. Let's create another shape layer. I'm going to deselect the current selection of layer 5, Control shift a heading up, and this time we're going to utilize the pen tool. Selecting this, but first, let me move our current time indicator to layer 8, somewhere around here. With the pan tool active, I'm going to create a, a triangle. And uh, notice the dot beside the pen tool, so it indicates we are closing this. And hitting V to revert back to selection tool. Let's head over to our current time indicator, hold shift. And let's trim layer 1, Alt, right bracket, hold the shift, and the page up to move 10 frames, Alt, right bracket. Let's grab layer 1 and move this on top of layer 9. And let's change the fill color. Let's try blue. Selecting OK. Recall that we imported an Illustrator file into After Effects. Let's utilize that by heading over to Graphics and uh, select Runner.ai. Let's place this on top of uh, Layer 8. Okay, so let's uh, move this and uh, resize this by holding shift and uh, selecting this handle. Holding shift to retain its aspect ratio. Selecting runner AI, moving this here. Let's have this layer. Same in duration with layer 9 or our shape layer with this selected alt left bracket holding shift and moving to the end alt right bracket let's scrub and looking nice sa mga nanonood ngayong hapon if you appreciate what we are doing please like and follow us asus for business and mecani web Uh, thank okay. you. <laughs> thank you for that um first part of our webinar uh, for this af afternoon session, Sir Joe Mark. So I, I believe most of our viewers are uh, are already being equipped with the right knowledge on how to be able to, to do their web design properly in the, uh, in their uh, in their future projects in the future. So with this, um. I would like to, to properly equip our end users and people to uh, with the right tool. ASUS Expert Series has, uh, I'll be presenting rather, the, the new lineup of the ASUS Expert Series this afternoon. So I'll be sharing my screen. So uh, So good afternoon again, everyone. So welcome again to our webinar this afternoon. So I'm Jacob Vargas from the ASUS commercial uh, marketing team. So in partnership with Mikani Web, um, I'll be your representative from the ASUS team and be presenting this afternoon our current product lineup, perfect for the work from home setup.
So In Search of Incredible is our brand promise. Asus is passionate about technology and driven by innovation. We dream, we dare, we, and we strive to create an effortless and joyful digital life for everyone. We're always in search of incredible in, in terms of ideas and experiences, and we aspire to deliver the incredible in everything we do. So ASUS Expert Series, it's actually the ASUS Commercial PC Group of, the, of ASUS Philippines, catering to business-to-business -to -business SMBs, government sectors, and academe. We are designed with ever, because this um, ASUS Expert Series is rather is designed with the ever-changing business needs and priorities in mind. ASUS Expert C Series realize the importance of real reliability, mobility, and flexibility in today's competitive environment, where productivity returns are the key benchmark for investment decisions. That is why here with ASUS, we never stop innovating. Throughout the years, ASUS has achieved more than 57K awards since 2001, further solid solidifying the quality of all ASUS products from good design awards and Reddit awards, just to name a few. And mod to, uh, to talk about modern IT threats can strike businesses from any place and from, from all angles. Security needs to cover every point with multiple layers of protection. So that is why ASUS Expert Series products provide total security using multiple hardware and software layers, ranging from physical hardware protection to, to identity security to protect your data from, from unauthorized access. Durability is a hallmark of ASUS design. It surpasses industry requirements, including the ultra-demanding military-grade standard. It also undergoes in-house testing, including panel pressure, shock, and drop tests to ensure durability and stability with your ASUS products. In ASUS, we offer our partners maximum support through technical services by minimi minimi minimizing down through lever time through leveraging ASUS scale and skills, gaining efficiency through door-to-door -door services and managing assets with tailor-made service, service package for all support needs. Wherever, whenever, in ASUS, we offer three years warranty worldwide and is extendable to, to a maximum of five years upon purchase on-site. So to talk, so I'll be now talking about the new lineup of the ASUS Expert Series. So first we have the ASUS Expert Book Series. Um, Businesses are, because we understand that businesses are increasing, increasingly dependent on mobile computing as work is no longer so, um, confined in the office, especially with the work from home setup. That is why we have focused on making our ASUS expert book the lightest, yet toughest and most secure notebooks in the business, business line. They all, um, it also features elegant and minimalist er ergonomic industrial designs that not only help you do your best, but also look your best at work. It also provides military-grade standard that you, that you can um, rely your security, best-in-class performance with the latest Intel processors. We, uh, we have products that have dual storage um, capabilities. And, and um, we also provide expert book lines that are incredibly light, some featuring also a 180 degree hinge. When it comes to our commercial desktops, we have the ASUS Expert, expert Center series. It is designed as a powerhouse to allow businesses to do more and more. And in order to achieve this goal, we, we choose world leading components and to employ sophisticated chassis design and rock solid construction while offering comprehensive op options with a wide range of specification and form factors. So again, same, same, same with the ASUS Expert Book line. It's also equipped with the military grade rel reliability. It has solid capacitors up to 100% solid capacitors for improved lo longevity. 
Um, it has full IO full IO ports. Equip also equipped with the latest Intel processors, and it, and it also features with a toolless design so that you may able to manage and upgrade your desktops. And rock solid security to ensure that um, no no leakages in terms of your data and data so uh, we'll be able to protect all of all of the rich data that you that your business has we also have the asus all-in-one pcs so these are the compact and powerful asus all-in-one pcs that are designed for a variety of tasks they are equipped with the latest generation of intel processors and optimal nvidia discrete graphics to keep you productive and entered and entertained at the same time so these are um, monitors that can already work on its own so it is already equipped um, equipped with wireless um, keyboard and mouse in hand so now we also have the asus pro art studio book line so we recently launched this this year earlier this year so for creators a work from home setup can be frustrating for them as oftentimes they may need to bring home a full desktop setup or, a, or to depend on a less powerful machine. The Asus Pro Art Studio Book series can all, already provide content creators with processing power that matches or even succeeds the performance of traditional desktop work, workstations, all while remaining portable enough to bring from office or to anywhere. So from, from the learnings that we um from our partners in Mikani web the asus pro art studio book line is the perfect laptop for you if you want to do web design to do your content creation and the like so to briefly introduce to you what is the asus pro art studio book line it it um it is built for creators requirements in mind from a slick and portable and reliable chassis design that ensures a professional look designer tiered features such as a screen pad number pad, and a tri-section keyboard design. Lastly, it's a packing hardware, it's powerful enough and accurate enough for any kind of content creation that, that you are eyeing to use. So we have, so we have the Pro Art Studio Book 15, so Pro, Pro Art Studio Book 17, and Pro Art, and the Pro Series, and the Studio Book Pro X and Studio Book 1. So here you can see already the specs of each Studio Book line that we've released earlier this year and their respective prices. So for the Pro Art Studio Book Pro 15, it's priced at 174,995. Pro, Pro Art Studio Book Pro 15, 249,995. And for the Pro X, we have the, it's priced at 299,000 pesos. So with this Pro Art Studio Book, um, when um with with the pro art studio book uh series rather it's already designed that you will be able to accomplish any tasks at hand at the same time no delays when you're uh, creating your design or rendering so because we understand that a lot of frustrations of end users would be rendering time um overheating desktops or laptops but with the pro art studio book you no longer have to worry of any of those uh you know, you know you no longer have to worry of these things with with mine in mind so with all of our pro art studio book line are, are equipped with the pro art creator hub so it's an actually an app, a built-in app which provides a unified experience across all connected pro art devices so it can be a pro art studio book laptop or a pro a pro art monitor this app actually allows you to easily calibrate colors, adjust settings, monitor performance, and optimize workflows. So for its dashboard, it provides an easy access to processor, memory, and storage fan speeds. And other information so that you can already quickly check the status of, any of your laptop from time to time. It also provides you an access in term to a rendering mode that can improve rendering performance as mentioned um you can all um you can also in um from the dashboard you can already enable the, the rendering mode which optimizes cpu gpu and memory performance to give you the necessary power 
to complete all your projects while still prolonging your battery life. After starting the rendering mode, the Pro or Creator Hub software will automatically adjust the operating curve of the fans to improve cooling efficiency. This allows the laptop to maintain high performance while re rendering large pro projects, reducing, re and reducing rendering time. Overall performance is improved by 8% to 12% versus normal mode. With the Pro Art Creator Hub, we also have color ca ca um, collaboration. Because color accuracy of any display will usually shift over time, Pro, Pro Art Creator Hub allows creators to easily recalibrate the display when, <clears throat> when calibration is finished, a color report is, is provided so creators can quickly review the new color parameters. You can also calibrate the color accuracy of your ProArt Studiobook display as well as any ProArt external monitor. Creators often use multiple software tools when working. To help creators work efficiently, Pro Art Creator Hub provides a work smart function that lets users create task groups that make it possible to open multiple applications simultaneously with just one click. The work smart function allows users to create and name eight task groups, allowing creators to build from various types of projects. So that's it for the Pro Art Creator Hub and for the Pro ASUS Pro Art Studio Box series. So we have I would just like to use this opportunity to highlight our ongoing campaign or bundle campaign. So it's built by experts for the experts. With the new normal setup, rela reliable connectivity is needed. So we want to turn your, your home to your own ver to your very own expert center with the ASUS Expert Book B9 and the ASUS Pro Art Studio Book series. So with every purchase, you may, um, um, with the purchase of the Expert Book P9 and Pro Art Studio Book series, um, you may have the chance to win ASUS Zen Wi-Fi X8 router to achieve faster speeds with the next generation Wi-Fi 6. So um, this promo is until October 31 only. So take this opportunity or already to 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 get the latest wi zen wi-fi and the the latest expert book b9 and pro arts studio book series so um if you're not yet accustomed in buying from in store we have online stores that you may want to check out so we have the, our asus e-store our asus asus expert series flagship store in shopee and we also have a, uh, our store in Lazada. And you may check this bit.ly link as well for the other locations where you can buy the latest ASUS Expert Book Series and the ASUS Pro Art Studio Book Series. So again, uh, um, thank you everyone. So this is again, I'm again Jake from ASUS Marketing Team. So you may like um, follow us on our LinkedIn page, ASUS Philippines Corporation. And, and for the latest updates and the new product announcements, um, coming this quarter in the coming or in the coming months, you may uh, like and share ASUS for Business Philippines, and check out our Instagram page ASUS Philippines. And before I end, if you have a phone with you, you may you may scan this QR code um, uh, to download the ASUS Expert C Solutions Guide 2020, or just simply go to this link in your screens below. So again, th um, thank you, Mechanic Web Team, for giving me the, the opportunity to discuss uh, uh, the ASUS Expert Series line this afternoon. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Sir Jake. <laughs> Ayan, see you later. Okay. Whew. So tuloy po tayo sa ating uh, training. So I hope you're you are enjoying. Uh, to tell you frankly, after I learned uh, Photoshop, ang uh, pangalawa ko pong uh, nagustuhan at na-inlove na Adobe software ay uh, After Effects. So again, later uh, sa ating mga susunod na uh, training and courses, uh, we will be learning how to bring uh, Photoshop and Illustrator more and animate them uh, into after effects so let me share my 
uh, screen now. Tuloy na po tayo sa ating uh, training proper. Okay. So tama po no, uh, really uh, encouraging everyone no suggesting uh, when you're working with After Effects mas preferred talaga po na malaki yung uh, monitor uh, na ginagamit natin. Okay? So making this uh, full screen para kita nyo lahat. Okay? This live stream training is After Effects, so let's add effects then. I'm going to head up on the right to Effects and Presets. And head back to grab our current time indicator. So previously, we added a glitch effect. Let's add more glitchiness to our footages. So I'm targeting layer 2. I'm going to hold the shift and move our CTI or current time indicator at the end. Or basically at 3 seconds. Head back to effects and uh, presets. I'd like to search for bad TV. So I'm going to type in BAD. And opting for bad TV1, I'm going to left click and hold, drag and drop this to layer 2. Release. I know the effect was applied because at the effects panel, we now have an effects and the presets here. Let's check out its effect. And I prefer the effect happening right before layer 2 ends. So I'm going to hold shift and go to its end point and I want to move backwards by one second and to be accurate I can head over to our time code and to move backward Take note of this technique. I'm going to key in plus minus one and a zero zero. So one second and zero zero frames. Hitting enter. So notice we moved one second, which is obviously two seconds. And from here, I'm going to duplicate and cut this layer. And to do that, I'm going to press Control shift d on my keyboard. Once more, notice we created a duplicate and a cut or split as well. And for layer 3, I'm going to remove the effects applied. So I'm going to head over here. Hit Control A to select all of the effects and hit Delete. Let me show you another technique. I'm going to loop over a specific portion of our work area. Let's say up to this point. From here to here, I want to play our video in loop mode. And for me to do that, with our current time indicator parked here, I'm going to hit N. And to add, it's simply, let's say parking my current time indicator here, it's also B for start and N for end. So take note of that, B and N to define the work area. So I'm going to head back to... 0, hit P, and up to this point, I'm going to hit N, and to loop, I'm going to hit 0 on my keyboard. 
So notice it updates slowly and buffers. And take note, After Effects is a CPU intensive application. So you really need to have a powerful machine. So it's now looping. So what I did is I hit zero on my number keypad. Once more, zero on my number keypad. Okay, let's speed things up. Let's uh, move over here. Let's uh, duplicate and uh, split layer 7. So with la layer 7 selected, Control shift d The same with layer 12. Control shift d And for layer 15. Control shift d Let's uh, grab bad TV too old. Apply this to layer seven. Release another method of applying effects is selecting the layer and double clicking the effect. Let's apply bad TV three, double left click. And lastly, let's apply bad TV2 to layer 15. Let's uh, move our current time indicator to check its effect. So for this one and this one. Moving forward, let's bring our work area to its uh, fullest extent, so up to 30 seconds. And to do that, I can grab this or I can double left click anywhere on our work area bar. So double left click and it's now up to 30 seconds. Okay, so recently we applied effects to footages and yes, we can also apply effects to text. So let's apply one. Let's head over to effects and the presets. I'm going to search for slow fade on, which is under text uh, presets. And let's apply this to layer nine release. So notice, let me scrub our current time indicator. To check, notice our text disappeared, but if we twirl its properties down at the right, I am seeing a keyframe. With keyframes, we are seeing an animation here. So let's expand this further. And it's at animator one under offset. And because this animation occurs at this point, we need to move the keyframes to be below our text. So I'm going to create a window selection, selecting both of the keyframes, selecting this first one moving them both to the left and I'm going to hold shift to snap this. Let me move my current time indicator holding shift and uh, let's move this keyframe over here. Let's scrub our current time indicator to see the effect of this preset. And uh, let me move the stacks to the left further. Let's twirl this up. And yes, After Effects also is for animation. It is one of its key strengths. Let's go ahead and animate some text. 
I'm going to move my current time indicator over layer 5. With layer 5 selected, let's animate its position. I'm going to hold shift to go at its endpoint. And let's twirl the properties of layer 5 under transform. So notice this stopwatches. Next, I'm going to hold shift and page down to move 10 frames. And I'm going to add a keyframe at this current position. So selecting our stopwatch, notice the addition of a keyframe. Next, I'm going to move back 10 frames, shift page up, and select our text, moving this to the left and holding shift to have this perfectly horizontal. Release, and let's scrub to check. So it goes from left to right. Another technique, I'm going to twirl this up. One of the ways to quickly identify if a layer has an animation or keyframe, it's simply hitting U on our keyboard. So hitting U and it automatically reveals us the specific property wherein it has a keyframe. So here, specifically, position. Let's add another keyframe. This time, I would like to adjust this layer's opacity. I'm going to hold Shift to jump into the second keyframe. Hold Shift and page down to move uh, 10 frames. I'm going to hit Shift T to add opacity. Let's uh, keyframe this at 100%. Move our current time indicator to the end point and reduce the opacity to zero. So let's scrub to check. In addition, we can copy this properties and keyframes by creating a window selection. So with all of these four keyframes selected, I'm going to hit Control C and head over to layer 14. Let's park our current time indicator at the endpoint of layer 14 and I'm going to hit Control V. Once more, to determine if keyframes were pasted, I'm going to hit U. So confirmed. And from here, we have created a simple animation in After Effects. Ayan, and to all who are currently watching, maraming maraming salamat po. I hope you're enjoying this After Effects tutorial. Recall recently we hit U to reveal keyframes. I'm going to hit Control A to select all of our layers. Hit U to toggle off its visibility. Once more, U to reveal, U once more to hide. And a control shift A or F2 to deselect all of our layers. Let's wrap things up by adding our final beautification for this project. I'm going to head up to our effects controls and select the chevron to reveal our project panel. Next, I'm going to select Flow Wide, which is a uh, sequence, and drop this on top of Transition. Let's check. 
what the flow ID offers us. So take note, this is not a transparent video. Let me grab this handle and stretch this out vertically and hold shift to move this perfectly vertical. And if you're familiar with Photoshop, recall we have a blend modes there. So it is also existent in After Effects. Let's head over to our layers. And notice here we have a modes, which are blend modes. So if you're not seeing this column, simply head over at the bottom. Toggle, switches, and modes. Okay? Now, there's a shortcut key to toggle through uh, different uh, blend modes. And to do that, with the layer 4 selected, I can hold shift and select the plus or minus button. So that plus and minus button is at the left of our uh, backspace. Okay? And uh, in this instance, I prefer the blend mode of add. So notice it revealed our text layer below. And let's trim this down, holding shift to snap at the endpoint of layer 6, selecting layer 4, alt left bracket. Let me hit space bar to see its effect. Nice. And uh, let's duplicate this layer, hitting Control D. Let's move this on top of text layer 11. Moving this here. Let's scrub to check. And uh, finally, let's duplicate this. A layer once more, control D and move this above layer 17. Moving this. And in addition, let me park my playhead at the endpoint of layer 17. And I'm going to select layer 16 and uh, hit left bracket only. So once more, left bracket to bring this and align layer 16 with the endpoint of layer 17. Okay? And to conclude this, let's add an audio to our project. So I'm going to bring over my folder to which we have extracted our exercise files. I'm going to grab this audio file, which is an MP3. Left click and hold, drag and drop to our project panel. Okay, and uh, grab this. Let's position this at the bottom. And to, to see its uh, levels, what we can do is hit L, L. Okay, once more, I hit L, L to reveal only the waveform. And another tip, we can make a specific panel full screen. And to do that, I'm going to hit the tilde or accent grave, which is located below our escape key on our keyboard. So accent grave or tilde is also at the left of the one key on our keyboard. So selecting tilde. So notice we have enlarged our composition panel. Let's now twirl this up and twirl this down to reveal audio levels. Let me bring my current time indicator to two seconds. Let's add a keyframe. Let's move our CTI at zero. 
and uh, pull this value to the left. So notice the change in the wave of form. To be exact, let me key in negative 50. Okay. And hit tilde once more to revert back to our original workspace. Hit zero. So I'm hoping you're hearing the sound. Okay. And the lastly, because this composition ends at this and the point holding shift let's trim our work area so i'm going to hit n and head over to our work area bar right click and select trim to comp work area selecting this and now our full composition lasted only at 23 seconds and 7 frames Ayan. Okay, so finally, hello, Ayan. let's uh, wrap this uh, up. Let me share my screen once more. Ayan. Okay. So again, uh, finish na tayo sa final output, okay? So uh, I guess this time, syempre, you would like to export this now uh, as a video to upload this to social media or to YouTube, okay? So let me turn off the overlay. So to do that, I'm going to head up to file, okay? So we have options here. Ang uh, pinakamaganda uh, if we're already prepared to have this uh, in social media is add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. Ayan. So wait lang. I'm launching this uh, now. Ayan. The good thing about Adobe uh, Media Encoder is I can... Uh, render uh, videos while still working in After Effects. So this is a uh, separate application. Ayan. So nandito na yung main shoe natin. Delete ko tong main. Ayan. Okay? So we have presets here. Wait lang. Ayan. Okay. Ayan ang uh, kagandahan ni uh, Adobe Media Encoder. So here we have, I'm showing you presets. So uh, for demonstration purposes, uh, we have Vimeo here as well, Facebook. Uh, our intent is to have this in YouTube. So I'm selecting YouTube. Enable natin yung export, of course, video and audio. Okay. Let's uh, save this. To where I have, uh, sa ko ba extract yun? Extracted our exercise uh, files. So pasting the location here. Main shoe composition. Selecting save. Ayan. And that's it. Okay. And I hit the play button to render this. Okay. So I'll I am showing you. Uh, the status of how uh, Studio Book Pro X is currently dealing with what I am uh, currently doing. So notice po, maraming uh, tayong ginagawa, uh, me. So I'm streaming. I'm uh, using After Effects to render and notice uh, the CPU. It now reached uh, 40% and yung memory, 18%. So if you're planning to uh, get serious in uh, After uh, Effects, 
really suggesting you uh, purchase a machine having at least a minimum of uh, 16 gig gigabytes. So, ayan, yung memory ko, pumapalo na siya ng uh, 21 gig. Ayan, okay. And uh, may mga curious daw, paano daw yung uh, setup uh, ko right now using uh, Studio Book Pro X. Let me share this uh, to you now. Ayan. So we're still rendering. Finish na ba? Ayan. Let me remove this. So, let's uh, look at the final rendered video. Close ko muna to. Ayan. Share screen ulit. Share audio. Tignan natin. So, it's a main shoe composition, di ba? So, double left click. Ayan, so ganun lang siya kaikli, no? So notice uh, gaano natin katagal uh, ginawa yung uh, uh, video. Ayan. Ayan, sa mga cure use. So here's my current setup using the the Studio Book Pro X. Ayan. So I'm using three pole monitor setup. Okay, so I hope you have enjoyed and learned a lot uh, from this uh, live stream. And and may contest tayo, tama Miss Nels. Okay, so the activity is uh, we would like, uh, like for me, I have this, uh, my YouTube channel. And notice po, no, uh, sa aking YouTube channel, wala akong parang intro trailer uh, informing one of uh, possibly my uh, viewer kung ano yung what my channel is about. Okay, so what our... Uh, project output would be using After Effects. I know most of you guys have a, a YouTube account. Ayan. I want you to create a uh, quick uh, video using what you have learned uh, today in After Effects. So that video po is um, telling uh, us or your future subscribers what your channel is about. Ayan. So, yun po yung um, request namin sa inyo sa ating uh, uh, mini ano, no, raffle giveaway. And you have to share that link uh, to Asus uh, Groups. Ayan. I-forward nyo po. And then sila yung uh, mamimili kung sino yung may uh, pinakamagandang uh, intro video. Okay? Uh, Miss Delcy? Do you 
have another announcement. Okay, so if you have a question, uh, questions, uh, now is the time. And uh, kahit may question pa po kayo in the future, uh, just drop it down to the comment section. Again, uh, we have just scratched uh, the surface of uh, After Effects. Uh, probably next time, gagawa naman tayo yung something like uh, click the subscribe button and notification bell. Gagawa tayo ng animated uh, video na yun. So, I hope this unlocked a lot of uh, potentials uh, to our viewers and to educators on how you can uh, teach uh, students make infographics, di ba? Uh, animated uh, animations uh, instructing or educating uh, someone. Ayan, very, very powerful. So, are we going to bring Sir Jason? So yeah, uh, calling in Sir Jason uh, for our closing remarks. So, hey, hello po ulit. So, <laughs> hello po ulit. So sir, thank you ulit uh, sa ating napaka-interesting topic today. Medyo, syempre, Basics pa lang yung naano natin. So, ikukontinue naman natin siya next week. So, sa lahat po ng, uh, nag, na, na, ng ating webinar, salamat po ulit. So, I hope na madagdagan pa tayo next week. At sana ma, mas marami po mag-share ng video natin para mas marami pa ma-inform regarding sa sa webinar series po natin dito sa Mikaniwe. Ayun lang po, sir. Ayan. Thank you so much, uh, Sir Jason. Ayan. Uh, question time. Question and answer portion na tayo. Sir, saan ang madali gamitin? Adobe Premiere or After Effects? Ayan. Uh, from Sir Bobby Romero. Well, it has his uh, own key strengths. Actually, ako po, uh, I mentioned a while ago, I started with uh, Photoshop, After Effects, and then I was forced then no, to learn premiere pro that's why pala no uh, ang subscription ay uh, ano no cc the, cre the creative cloud kasi you really have uh, it goes seamlessly po talaga no when working with uh, after effects so kung uh, plan mo mga documentary video ayan no kunyari interviews i suggest premiere pro Ayan. So if you're opting to have uh ayan, uh, sikat na sikat po ngayon yung mga infographics. Uh, I'm highly suggesting you use After Effects. And uh, to add talagang yang uh, mostly yang apat na yan uh, works uh, hand in hand. So nagkataon po ngayon I'm in the level of uh, for example, I'm uh, I have I am creating a documentary video or interview style. Uh, if I would like to spice uh, spice up uh, the the footages or the video in Premiere Pro, I'll be uh, bringing bringing in over After Effects para may mga konting uh, mga palaman and the uh, sparkle. So uh, probably if uh, ang goal mo ay uh, interview style. Uh, highly suggesting uh, Premiere Pro. Ayan. So, uh, feel free to comment down if you have uh, questions. Ayan. Ayan. Thank you for joining us uh, this afternoon. So, um, yun, kung meron pang future questions, pa comment down na lang po sa ating um, uh, video link. And then, um, aantayin namin yung ipapasa yung activity uh, for a chance to win a 30th um, Asus backpack and also um, LinkedIn Learning. 
Okay, and uh, sana hindi nyo po nakalimutang mag-register ano, para sa inyong certificate of course completion. Okay, maraming salamat po sa sumama sa amin um, ngayong araw. See you um, all uh, sa ating future training. Um, may webinar po ba? Um, f- uh, follow nyo na lang po ang ating page, no? ang uh, Mekani Web Facebook page. Uh, and then we'll announce po if ever na magkakaroon tayo ng um, premier training. Ayan, TBA ang, ang ating date. At again po no uh, we we provided to all who registered we provided exercise file so mas mabilis yung learning curve if ever you uh, sa mga future viewers na makatagpo sa video na to ayan may exercise files to so you'll be uh, learning a lot instead of watching only so paki-check po yung exercise files in the description video description ayan happy learning po And thank you po. Goodbye.